Well, for almost a third of his life, a little Shelby Township boy named Beckett has been really fighting so hard to survive at a hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. Well, this morning, the very definition of Thanksgiving happened as his family returned home to an amazing welcome. Paula Tubman was there and joins us live with this story. Paula. Hi, everybody. I really want you to take a look at this because this really could be an episode of HGTV. I mean, take a look at these finishes. High-end finishes, every single nook and cranny. Joel is hustling up the stairs so we can show you Beckett's room because this is truly the piece de resistance. I was here as the family was coming in, and I got to tell you, even I got choked up. <laughs> a near presidential parade for a little boy who used to be sick. Three-year-old Beckett has been away from his Shelby Township home for nine months, fighting cancer at St. Jude's Hospital. Yesterday, he got the all clear. He's cancer free, and he was sent home in time for Thanksgiving. Welcome home. Only what he didn't realize is that a brand new home was awaiting him. Sweet Dreams, which usually redecorates the bedrooms of sick children, realized this home needed so much because of a plumbing problem and water damage. There's a lot of issues that happened um, with the, the leak coming from the tub. I guess it cracked, um, so it leaked down into the kitchen, so we had drywall damage. With an army of donations and volunteers, they started with Beckett's room and then just kept going. They created this monster truck bed. For Beckett. Beckett, who courageously fought brain cancer and won, got the monster truck's bedroom of a lifetime. Are you ready, Beckett? Oh my Whoa. God. <laughs> Holy smokes. Wow. The wheels are made into stairs where he can enter the bed. You have a drawer in the front for all of his monster trucks. <laughs> Beckett! Oh my God! <laughs> He's got a set of car keys that actually turn the lights on and off underneath the car. Oh. It was absolute magic. I get home. We didn't. We didn't know for sure what would happen in March when we found everything out. We didn't even know we were going to be here. New family spaces, kids' rooms, Nike sneakers. This was basically a, a sectional piled up in the corner. I'm good. We could just stay right here. <laughs> we involved 10 different designers from the Michigan Design Center, and each took on a space, and they have just been our angels. The fireplace works. It does. Look at Sissy's room. <laughs> it was hard for her to handle it, honestly. Yeah. But it was a lot. And it was awesome what they did. Yeah, I mean, come on. Look at this bed. Seriously? And also, I want to show you this. You see this stadium seat? This is actually from the Palace of Auburn Hills. Remember that place? It's a collector's item. You know, but for the donations and the volunteers, this is several hundred thousand dollars worth of work on this home. When big brother Aaron walked in, he said, this is sick. And I just thought that was <laughs> so amazing because this family for the first time can say, mm. okay, sick. This kind of sick is actually good. And they're uh. home for Thanksgiving. Oh, Paula, and those hats, you know, obviously you know, Beckett, right? Beckett's a warrior, but so is his family. I mean, going through all of this oh, and being yes. so strong. So good that he's home And this still so kind and thoughtful and thankful. Yes, most definitely. Thank you. We needed a story like this. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving, Paula. You bet.